Welcome back to Breakfast Television. It's this photo of our own Tracy Moore, host of City Line, that went viral across the country. It sparked a much needed conversation with her fans and our community about racial discrimination and gender profiling. Dr Tracy joins us this morning live from Toronto to share her insights and experiences that she's had in her own career and in her personal life. Good morning to you, Tracy. It's so nice to Good talk to you. Good morning. Good morning, Leah. Good to see you this morning. And thanks for having me on. I appreciate the openness to having this conversation. Yes. I love that we're having this conversation. So you, can you just back us up a little bit and sort of tell us what happened with this photo? Okay, do you have the comment there that yes. the, uh, the man made? Yes. Why don't you go ahead and read it? Okay, so I've got it here. I'm flipping over to the next page. Yes. I noticed that Tracy Moore keeps wearing tops that reveal her shoulders. Her shoulders, arms, and hands look a bit masculine and are not feminine. That does not look attractive at all for a woman, in my opinion. Scientists discovered when comparing white women to black women, overall, black women feature slightly more masculine features. Wow. That's something wow. else. Wow. Right? Yeah. So I get to open up my inbox and see lovely messages like that. Oh. Granted, I don't get a lot of them. but um, And listen, I, I don't get a lot of hate in general. But the race situation and the body shaming situation is still alive and well in 2019, right across Canada, right globally, really. And the, the reason why I actually decided to respond was a couple of reasons. One was, think before you type people, don't be that yes. guy. And it was a man. Mm -hmm. And the other one was, by the way, this is happening. Did you know this is happening? And the response I got was that, no, people did not know this was happening. 3,000 comments and thousands and thousands of likes and people just saying I cannot believe this is happening and the more I read that the more I thought thank goodness I said something because this is kind yes. of the tip of the iceberg isn't that the truth I mean you were saying that you were shocked that people were shocked and it shows me that we need to start having these conversations yeah. way more in our own little circles, at work, at home with our families. We actually need to talk about this. We're very afraid to talk about racial divisiveness in this country. Absolutely. And we think it's something that happens over there yes. in America. Yes. This is happening here. It doesn't matter how wealthy, how educated, how assimilated you are. There's always someone that's going to point out that you look different and you don't belong. Yeah. And that's happening now to me, it's happened to my parents, it's happened to my grandparents, and it's happening to my kids. Yeah. So what do you want people to really think about then? I want people to start to think about how they deal with people who might be an other. And that could be mm -hmm. a, a different sexual orientation, it could be a different race, it could be a woman, um, it could be someone who's differently abled. Think about what you're saying, think about what they're facing, and think about all of the things that you think are true from your perspective and start to doubt yourself. And I know it gets very uncomfortable having to realize that there are all different realities out there and your reality coming in as a majority um, and a, a person that's portrayed all the time in the media and in society mm -hmm. might not be the reality that other people are facing. Right. And it's to have some sympathy for that, some empathy for yes. that, and to actually ask people, how are you feeling in this moment? And to think about the things that you're saying. Absolutely. Such a good conversation to have. And you know, a good conversation, as you mentioned, to have in the home, that's a great place to start. You and I both have daughters that are roughly the same age. What yeah. do you want the messaging to be to those daughters? We, um, we talk about race, gender, all of the above a lot in my house. It comes up because they've also had to deal with different comments at school and at camp. And I just want my children to know that despite anything that's happening out there in the world, it is also their world to inherit and to step into boldly and proudly. Mm -hmm. You know, I want my daughter to always be very comfortable in her body and about how she feels about her opinions and to be okay about expressing those things. I want her to realize that there might be people that are putting barriers up for her, but I never want her to put up barriers for herself. Yeah. And that's for both of our daughters, right? Absolutely. For all of those daughters. Tracy, we have to leave it there for time but thank you so much for talking with us this morning and for starting these really important conversations thanks leah happy black history month thank you, you. yes